Strategies of Managing Rod and Cone Dystrophy in Children Controlling rod and cone dystrophy in children involves managing the condition to minimize its impact on vision and overall quality of life. Here are some steps and considerations. Low vision aids work with low vision specialists who can prescribe appropriate aids such as magnifiers, light therapy device, V20, or electronic devices, AC stim, that can help the child maximize their remaining vision. Educational support, depending on the severity of the condition, children with rod and cone dystrophy may benefit from educational support services. This could include accommodations in the classroom or special education resources. Genetic counseling, since rod and cone dystrophy can be genetic, genetic counseling may be recommended for families. Understanding the genetic basis of the condition can provide insights into its inheritance pattern and potential future implications for other family members. Environmental modifications make adjustments to the child's environment to accommodate their vision impairment. This might include good lighting, minimizing glare, and ensuring clear pathways to reduce the risk of accidents. Medical treatments, if applicable, while there is currently no cure for rod and cone dystrophy, some experimental treatments or clinical trials may be available. Discuss with healthcare providers to explore any potential options. Lifestyle considerations encourage healthy lifestyle habits that can support overall well-being, such as a balanced diet, regular exercise, and good sleep hygiene. It's important to work closely with healthcare providers to create a tailored management plan that addresses the specific needs of the child with rod and cone dystrophy. Regular monitoring and adjustments to the management plan may be necessary as the condition progresses. Please send an email to info at restorevisionherbs.com to request a personalized evaluation. We can discuss strategies to slow down disease progression and optimize your remaining visual function.